gorgeous here. We're in Swaysboro, I think is how you say. I think it is, yeah. And uh, the water is gorgeous here. It's finally turned this beautiful color of blue-green that we've been hoping to see forever. But as you can see, the boaters are out, the chop is crazy. We are rocking and rolling this morning. <laughs> And this is our 46-foot hunter sailboat, Honey Time. We've now made it into North Carolina. Join us every Friday as we learn to navigate these new waters and refit, renovate, and restore our new home. Thanks for all your support along the way. Look at this gorgeous water. Oh my God, it's awesome. South and North Carolina, these things have been everywhere and they're really cool. And they make the beaches look so pretty. Sometimes all you can see for miles is these things, but they're all like this. It's called a shibumi. What a gorgeous day. I could smell suntan lotion. We're making our way into Beaufort. Beaufort, Beaufort. Oh. <laughs> We're making our way into Beaufort right now, and the ICW kind of curves off this way. And to go to Beaufort, we gotta have to go this way. But as you can see behind us, there's like 20 boats that are all going down exactly the same channel that we are. So we're gonna be heading down that direction there. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit tight and crazy. But we're looking for an anchorage right out in front of town so that we can get off the boat for a little bit and maybe explore some, because that'll be fun. It's been a long time since we've been on land. It's gonna be a treat. Check this out though. It so feels like we're in a tropical place at the moment. It like, is gorgeous here. The water is blue. There's crazy boats all over the place just swarming around. And then if you go, you can see that the tide is down and the sandbars have come up and the boats are everywhere. 
Everyone's just sitting out, enjoying the day. Look at this gorgeous water. Oh my God, it's awesome. It feels different right now. It feels like we're on vacation right now. I love it. Welcome to beautiful Beaufort, North Carolina. It's Buford. I'm gonna start this again. <laughs> Welcome to beautiful Beaufort, North Carolina. We're just in the channel here right now by the city dock. And there's tons of action happening on Memorial Day weekend here. We're gonna take a zip over to the town a little bit later in the dinghy, find the dinghy dock, maybe get uh, some vegetables and stuff. We're running a little bit short on those sorts of things. Uh, we're good for pretty much everything else, just uh, just vegetables. We're getting short on salad stuff, but it's nice to be here. We're anchored up where the weather is lovely. We're taking an early day today, like we said, not getting out as far as we wanted to go, but we need a little break too sometimes. So here we are. Oh, and then we've got the music behind us. <laughs> hey everybody. So today we are in Beaufort, North Carolina again. We decided to stay a day and just kind of relax and enjoy. Walk around on the ground for a little bit, which is nice. Yeah, get rid of some garbage. Mm -hmm. Pick up a couple supplies. We got a couple things ready this morning. We had a bunch of running around and it's handy because everything's close. Yeah, we're just Build right outside the city dock right here. So town is just over here. So we're gonna go over the dinghy dock over there and tie up and then just enjoy walking around town and getting to see a little bit of this beautiful place. Yeah. So anyways, join us on our adventure through Beaufort. 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 Join us on our adventure through Beaufort. God, I'm gonna get that right at some point. So cute. Little pirate adventure. And we'll mosey right on in here to the dinghy dock and have a nice walk around town. Super close. Hanu is just right over there, so we couldn't have like planned it any better. Quick, easy ride in here. This little residential part of this town is so adorable. Hey, look at this. It's just quaint. So Little houses, nice little sidewalks. See lots of stuff on Everybody there. Everybody drives around in golf carts. Yeah. And all these houses are old, old. Yeah, 1896. We have about a two mile walk to get to the nearest grocery store, which isn't too bad. It's nice to be out walking around. It is, totally. Mm -hmm. But it would be ideal if we had like scooters or something. So it wouldn't be an all day affair to go get groceries and get oh, them back to the boat. They're also getting warm in your bag when you're hauling it all back. Yeah, we were gonna get ice, but I think we're gonna wait till we get a little bit further back to the main road before we get ice. Otherwise, we're just gonna have nice cold water. We're taking turns with the bags because this one's uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> not this one, the bag. Yeah. <laughs> this one's not. <laughs> this one is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the uh, beach out there is all exposed now. Is it? How yeah. Much there? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's Adventure Dinghy. Yeah. It's grocery Dinghy right now. It is Grocery Dinghy. But you're doing a great job, Dinghy. Oh, that was so nice. 
nice. We just went and hung out at the beach for the last hour and a half. And had a swim and the water is clear and beautiful. And, oh, it was so good. It was nice to get out and get salty. Yes, it was. Wasn't it? It was. It was perfect. Oh, such a beautiful afternoon here in Beaufort, North Carolina. Now we're going back to the boat, put away some stuff, and uh, go for take go to the dinghy dock and go look for some ice. Maybe a place to have a margarita first. I don't know. Well, maybe I've got I've got um, salty lips right now, and I'm thinking, hmm, a margarita would be lovely. In oh, go over here. This is cool. You gotta check this out. Oh, they go. We'll be out of their way in a second. It's no big deal. It's fine. bar. How cool is that? It's just cruising around, having a good old time. <laughs> that is awesome. super cool. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Woo! jump in the water and do a quick dive under the boat and see if we can see what it looks like down there. Yeah, I just want to, after that last week trip, yeah. make sure we didn't pick up anything on our rudder or our prop, Yeah. like a crab trap. I mean, it's so, nice and warm, so it's a good time, and clear, and so it's, it's a good so, time to go it's under. It's a pretty clean little spot. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to dive in real quick and take a quick peek. I'll be right back. What a sunset. <laughs> if it wasn't for the bloody no see -ums, eating me alive to go see it. So wicked. Well, we're off and at it once again, leaving Beaufort. It was a lovely, lovely stay that we had here. Nice to get off of the dock or off the boat for a while and be on land and go swimming and just explore this town. And it's time to get back on the ICW and continue this journey. We're going to have a beautiful day today. It should be just hot and sunny, mild wind. So it should be a nice one. This guy's seen better days. Been there for a long time. behemoth coming up behind us. I saw it in port this morning when we were in uh, Beaufort. We actually seen it a couple times on this trip and uh, they've caught up to us and they're gonna pass us shortly so I just chatted with them on the VHF and they're gonna we're gonna give them a, a slow down here shortly and then they can give us a slow pass on our port side but you gotta swamp us. Oh yeah this thing's huge. <laughs> it it's got huge. a big crew on it and they're all mm -hmm. polishing all day and yeah so we're gonna slow it down and let them go by. Yeah. What size of a Grady would you say that is? They're tender. I don't know. That's beautiful. Yeah. Just a little sucker. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Something to bomb around in. and uh, we're in quite a large sound opening body of water right now but it's amazing 
uh, as always with the ICW, there's a tiny little channel that you can take and you can't go out into the rest of the water because it's extremely shallow over there. And it's hard to see, but there are like thousands of crab traps over there. So even if you didn't have a very long keeled boat, you still wouldn't want to go over there anyways because you're going to pull up a crab trap at some point or another. Right it's there. amazing. It's, it's speckled everywhere. Yeah. Just crab traps everywhere. If you didn't know that, you'd be in so much trouble. Yeah. It's crazy. I can't get over how many there is. They'd be so wrapped around your prop, you'd be going nowhere. Unbelievable. So stay on the track. We're over as far as we can get. The crab traps are here. And I'm sure he's going as slow as he can get. <laughs> it looks like his wake's not going to be too, too bad, but this thing's enormous. It looks almost like it's a greenhouse or something, which is weird. No, it's not. Nutrient, aurora phosphate. Wow, look at the size of that barge. Holy crap. That's a bigger. I'm sure this isn't a big deal for anyone else, or maybe it is, I don't know, but this is a game changer for us. Our autopilot is working finally, and we've been enjoying some sunshine out on the bow of the boat while autopilot handles the whole thing in this huge big body of water that we're in right now. So it's been about a half an hour or so that we've been kind of just cruising across here. We wish we could sail, but unfortunately there is just not enough wind to make that happen. So we are loving the fact that our autopilot works and we don't have to sit behind and hand steer the entire time. Game changer. Mm -hmm. 